Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Gobi's Tri-Tips. Uh, I'm doing another episode on a weapon tutorial this time. Uh, my first one was on Lance, and I kind of always give three tips for how to use the weapon at, you know, kind of like approaching a high level, I would say. Um, so this one I want to cover Longsword, because this weapon is weirdly memed on. Because if you're coming from a newer generation game, like For You, GU, World, um, I actually don't know too much about World, but uh, Tri famously has a longsword where this meter here, can I get the pointer on the screen? Uh, here? Yeah. This longsword meter here does not deplete in Tri when you press a spirit combo. And people say, like, it's crazy, and it kind of is. Like, to be fair, it is a little OP. But they say because the spirit combo. Uh, meter does not consume bar that you can just mash R to, to keep doing your spirit combo and that is not true That is like the sign of a total noob like it, it's not effective. It's not good. You're gonna die a lot it, It's just a waste of time your hunt times will be bad So I want to give you three try tips on How to long sword okay my first try tip. I don't actually need meteor I came on a hunt because I can't demonstrate some of the things without meteor. It's very annoying But my first try tip is this your bread and butter long sword move is this one two that is it. That is your bread and butter longsword. I'd never even press R. Maybe you're already drawn and you want, so this goes higher and has a different timing and goes down versus this is just a little faster and straightforward, you know, like a thrust, just depending on your position, you know, whichever you prefer. And you can only do the high one out of draw. One, two, that is your combo. Maybe you're already drawn and they're turning, like they're doing a turn, turn. One, two, okay? That is your bread and butter. Now you want to fade in. Uh, that's right. You can't fade if you need um Wemo to be able to fade sideways from neutral. So that's actually a big win for Wemo players. But um, uh, you want to fade to the side where you have more room. But it, it depends on the monster's movement. For example, whoa, holy crap! Is that Baroff? He showed up. Okay, so maybe I'll get a little demo here. Um, if I have more room on the left here, more like I'm kind of maneuvering there. So to get out of the way, I would go here this way. This clears the body harder. Whereas if I'm on this side, I want to go. Okay, I didn't. Really get it. Oh, notice I have the same tip as any other weapon. You can stop and do nothing and then roll, right? I needed the timing to roll, so I just stopped and I did nothing and I waited to roll that tail whip. So yeah, if you're on if you have more space on the right side, you you just go fade to the right. If you have more space on the left side, you fade to the left. That's your bread and butter. Oh, nice. It is, I mean this is whatever. I'm, he's gonna beat me up. Um My second tip is will require bar. And at this point, I might just go to the recorded hunt that I have. I literally did this like 20 minutes ago with another player on the server. I'm just hunting Rathian. It's funny because I'm actually like, I don't actually longsword Rathian that much. I longsword Baroth and Ignactor a lot and a latching on a decent amount. But let me see, maybe, let me get through my three tips maybe and then, um, and then we'll go to the video. You can see I do not make good videos. I don't edit, I don't know how to do any of that. So this is one, two, three right here. Oh three right here that takes commitment so that three hit step is a commitment and in my opinion you cannot go into the three head step unless you have a read that you are open for that entire head. okay look this is bread and butter i just got out of the way see i did two hits there i'm gonna get out of the way i do not commit i i never even mash r right okay so my second tip is that the three hit step spirit three when you press the spirit button one two three times the third one gives you three hits it is a total commitment and you must have a hard read to go into it so what do you do? Because if you don't have the read right there, I just extend it. So spirit, button, spirit, roll. So you can extend spirit one and spirit two. Um, if you can't go into spirit three, there once. Yeah, so I extend right there. Spirit, extend. Spirit, extend. Out of the way. Right. So you can see that I'm never ever mashing R. And yeah, mashing R is when the monster is disabled, when you have a read, when you have an opening. That's when you mash R and you build the meter. So that's basically it. And if you just repeat this loop, Longsword is actually crazy. Um, a side tip, like, I think people uh, in Try, once you go to yellow, you actually get a damage boost. I'm still in white. But once you go to yellow, you actually get a damage boost and it can never go away. And red is the biggest damage boost, but you're on a timer to like refresh it. And a lot of people don't go red, and that's probably pretty understandable. Um, I personally always go red because I kind of trust in my ability to refresh it because I've played this game so much. But if you're just starting, yes, yeah, st probably stay yellow. And then as you advance and you get better and better, you'd be like, oh, wait, I, I can do this. 
And, you know, if you lose red, it's not like the end of the world. It's like, I already got the value from red, because I'm, I've been wailing on the monster the whole duration where, you know, I was red. So I get, I get all that damage anyway, and I just build right back up to it. It is a personal challenge. It's pretty fun to see, like, oh, can I maintain red for the whole hunt? And I have done it, like, quite a few times, especially in Adrenaline. It's pretty sweet. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is a uh, low rank offline barrel. That's probably like toast. Okay. We will close this out. And let's, uh, let me just review my um, Rathian hunt here. And you can see all the things I'm talking about. So, again, the three tips are one, your bread and butter is attack, fade, attack, fade, attack, fade. That's it. Attack, fade. That's all you want to do. You, it gets out of the way. And. Trading in this game is generally bad, almost always bad. You never want to trade hits with a monster. The only time I'm willing to trade a hit with a monster is when I'm doing spirit completion to either move to the next um, color of my spirit meter or to maintain red. That's the only time I'm willing to trade, and sometimes not even then because I'm in adrenaline and I'll die. Okay, so again, it's uh, like it's one fade or poke fade, right? One is what I call the overhead slash. So yeah, overhead slash fade or poke fade. Um, if you have more time, you can go overhead, poke, fade, or overhead, overhead, fade. But the point is, you need to press fade to get out of the way of the incoming monster attack. And, oh yeah, I remember this one. <laughs> Rathian took off immediately, so that was that's very annoying. It doesn't happen very often, but yeah, sometimes the monsters spawn in and they just immediately go eat, which is what happened here. So I'm making a beeline to the Aptanoth. Yeah, so attack, fade is uh, try tip number one for longsword. Tip number two, remember, is... Spirit 3, which is when you go Spirit, 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 is a commitment. And you require an opening or read to go into Spirit 3, right? And the third tip is that um, extend your combos. If you can't go into Spirit 3, well, then we extend. So right now I'm just build building Mirror. And then look, I just I took as much time as I could, and then I got out of the way. Sure, Rathian did a back hop, but she could have charged. But the point is, I faded out of the way. So I'm probably going to bread and butter here again. Oh, okay, yeah, so I did bread and butter, but she did a different thing. That's fine. Again, bread and butter. Oh, okay. Yeah, sometimes I could be reading something and like I can see that it's not going to do something. I might be going on reaction. But the point is, you can see how I'm not mashing R. And now I will mash R. I go for the... I went for the tail here and I, don't, I didn't like my decision. So I am actually spiriting back toward the head. Um, a lot of long swords don't really care about hit zones. They just want to mash. But I, I think hit zones is very important. This is a fun little moment. Um, I know that it's not Rage, and I know that we've done enough damage to go into Rage. So again, I have the read. Again, I have the read that I can go into Spirit 3, so then I complete the combo all the way. So I didn't mean to Superman there. Actually, I was surprised I got a Superman. I just wanted a regular roll. <laughs> and here, this is just monster reading. I was a little too far off. My spacing's not right, so I didn't get the hits there, but that's okay. That's uh, my bad. Yeah, notice, I, I faded out of the way. That's the bread and butter. So that's why I like when people say it's like it's both a big deal that your meter never goes down because I can just kind of spam it like this right here. But it's also not a big deal because I don't spam it like in free movement. I don't spam it right there. I spammed it because I had a wide fucking opening and I could not be touched. Okay, again, I'm probably going to get out of the way here. Ooh, that was bad. Okay, look what happens when I didn't get out of the way. I can no longer uh, I can no longer dodge the fireball. So there you go. So I ate it there. Notice I just went red, but that, again, that's like totally up to you. If you're new to the weapon, yeah, probably don't go red. Roll, yeah. Roll. Oh, oh, it retargeted. That was annoying. Again, okay. So here I'm gonna spam because, uh, yeah, I can't, it can't get me. Right there, I think I was safe from the tail roll, but it conveniently got staggered, so I'm safe anyway. It's landing, so I'm again. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna go all the way here because again, I have the read or I have the opening, so that hit is a commitment, and I've gone for it. And yeah, you can see how crazy damage this is. This is red on the head. Complete that too. Yeah, staggers are also fantastic for completing your combo, of course. I got annoyed that my sharpen got cancelled by the wind, so I just I just sent it and yellow sharpened again. And this fight, uh yeah, it's like two minutes left. I'll fast through through the ending. I'm sure some people like to see the rewards, see if I got a Rathian plate or anything. Oh, yeah, that one, uh, it's a little rough when you're at the startup of the tail whip, like you're directly in the path. It's like, yeah, you always get, get hit by those. It's really hard not to. 
So again, I did the three hit there because I had I know I had the opening. Again, all right, Spirit Extend, and then whoop, I sent it there. That was I'm surprised I did that. That was unsafe, but this one I had to stagger, maintain red again. So yeah, attack fade. Oh, again, opening. So yeah, um, there's this weird group of people who like to say earplugs is not a good skill because you can just roll the roar with evasion. They're full of crap, and that was a perfect. I was like, <laughs> you can't. Uh, if you if you're rolling, you can't attack. So you know it's stupid. Yeah, this fight's about to end. So there you go. Okay, so to review, three tips. Overhead fade, poke fade, that's tip one. Tip two, spirit three requires a read or an opening. Okay? And tip three is, well, if you can't spirit three, but you still have time, go spirit one extend, spirit two extend, fade. You always end your combo with a fade. You fade out of the way, and then you chase the monster as it charges past you, and you go overhead slash fade again. This racks up the damage, it builds the meter, and it builds towards stagger limits, so you do get the whole spirit openings. And that's how you play Longsword. It's actually that simple. It is not Mash R. Mash R is how you die and how everyone knows you're a noob. <laughs> so yeah, so here's our uh, end of hunt honey gathering. And let's see. Yeah, I took the honey, and that is not a plate or a ruby. So, yep, I got nothing. Sorry, guys. All right. Hope this helps, and uh, enjoy your longsorting. <laughs>